Welcome to the Growth Mindset Company, where we delve into the complexities of contract terms and help you navigate the intricacies of legal agreements. Today's episode focuses on understanding two critical financial terms and contracts, the contract price and the accepted contract amount. Whether you're a contractor, a project manager, or just someone keen on understanding contract law, this episode is for you. Let's start by setting the stage. Imagine you're about to embark on a significant project. You've got your plans laid out, the team is ready, and you're about to sign a contract that will set everything into motion. This is where you encounter two terms, the accepted contract amount and the contract price. While they might sound similar, they hold different meanings and implications for your project. First, let's talk about the accepted contract amount. This term is defined in Clause 1.1.4.1 of our example contract. The accepted contract amount is essentially the initial sum agreed upon in the letter of acceptance for the execution and completion of the works, including the remedying of any defects. It's the baseline figure that both parties agree upon at the outset of the project. But here's where it gets interesting. The accepted contract amount is not just a random figure. It's a carefully calculated sum that the contractor bases on a thorough assessment of the project's requirements. This includes data analysis, site inspections, and a comprehensive understanding of all relevant matters necessary for the proper design, execution, and completion of the works. It's a number that reflects a deep understanding of the project's scope and needs. Now, let's shift our focus to the contract price, as outlined in clauses 1.1.4.2 and 14.1. The contract price starts its life as the accepted contract amount, but it doesn't stay static. It's a dynamic figure, subject to adjustments as the project progresses. These adjustments can be due to various factors, such as changes in work scope, legislative changes, or other specific conditions outlined in the contract. Think of the contract price as a living entity within your project. It evolves, reflecting the actual cost incurred as the project moves forward. This is crucial because it means that the final amount paid might be different from what was initially agreed upon. It's a figure that adapts to the realities of the project, ensuring that all parties are fairly compensated for the actual work done and expenses incurred. But how does this adjustment happen? Let's dive into some of the clauses that influence these changes. Clause 14.1, for instance, sets the stage for these adjustments. It states that the contract price shall be the lump sum accepted contract amount, subject to adjustments in accordance with the contract. This means that the initial figure is not set in stone. It's a starting point, a base from which the actual cost is calculated. One key factor in these adjustments is changes in legislation, as detailed in Clause 13.7. If there's a change in the laws of the country, or in the judicial or official governmental interpretation of such laws, after the base date, which affects the contractor in performing their obligations, the contract price will be adjusted to reflect this. This clause ensures that the contractor is not unfairly penalized or benefited by changes in law that occur after the contract has been signed. Another important aspect to consider is the role of the engineer in these adjustments, as outlined in Clause 3.5. The engineer acts as a mediator and a fair judge in cases where there's a need for determination. They consult with each party in an attempt to reach an agreement. If an agreement is not possible, the engineer makes a fair determination in accordance with the contract, taking into account all relevant circumstances. Now, let's consider the practical implications of these terms. As a contractor, understanding the difference between the accepted contract amount and the contract price is crucial for your financial planning. It helps you anticipate potential changes in costs and prepare accordingly. For project managers and other stakeholders, this knowledge ensures that you're aware of the financial dynamics of the project and can manage expectations and budgets more effectively. But what about situations where the actual progress of the project is less than what was initially planned? This is where Clause 14.4 comes into play. 
If the contract includes a schedule of payments, and the actual progress is less than expected, the engineer may revise the installments. This ensures that payments are aligned with the actual progress of the work, maintaining fairness and transparency in financial dealings. In summary, while the accepted contract amount and the contract price may seem similar at first glance, they serve different purposes in a contract. The accepted contract amount is the initial agreed sum, based on a comprehensive assessment of the project's needs. The contract price, on the other hand, is a more fluid figure, reflecting the actual cost of the project as it evolves. Imagine a sprawling 20-mile highway, a backbone of commerce and connectivity, stretching across scenic landscapes. This highway isn't just a path of asphalt, it's a complex orchestration of planning, design, and execution. At the heart of this orchestration lies a contract, a blueprint of promises and expectations. Our journey begins with the accepted contract amount. Picture this, after rounds of negotiations and assessments, the contractor and the employer shake hands on $100 million. This figure isn't plucked from thin air. It's meticulously calculated, considering the labor, materials, machinery, and a myriad other factors crucial for bringing this highway to life. But what exactly is this accepted contract amount? It's the financial foundation of our project. It's an agreement on the cost of executing and completing the highway, including addressing any defects that might arise. This amount is a commitment, a starting point, reflecting the contractor's understanding of the project's demands. However, in the dynamic world of construction, this amount is not set in stone. It's a baseline, a starting figure on which the story of our highway will be written, and this story, as we will see, is subject to many twists and turns. Now, let's navigate through the twists and turns that transform the accepted contract amount into what we call the contract price. This journey is marked by adjustments, variations, and unforeseen challenges, each playing a crucial role in shaping the final cost of our highway project. First, let's consider variations in work. Imagine our highway project initially planned for four lanes. However, midway through, a decision is made to expand it to six lanes to accommodate future traffic. This change, seemingly simple, has profound implications. More materials, more labor, and more time, all leading to an increase in costs. Such variations are not uncommon in large-scale projects. They reflect the evolving needs and demands of the project. In our case, this variation adds, let's say, an additional $10 million to our initial accepted contract amount. The contract price now tentatively stands at $110 million. Next, we encounter changes in legislation. Construction projects don't exist in a vacuum, they are subject to the laws of the land. Imagine, a few months into our project, new environmental regulations come into effect. These regulations mandate additional safety measures to protect nearby wetlands. Compliance is not optional, and it's not free. The contractor now faces extra costs for environmental barriers and specialized equipment. This legislative change adds, say, $5 million to our project. Our contract price climbs to $115 million. Our journey is also at the mercy of delays and unforeseen events. Consider adverse weather conditions, prolonged rains lead to work stoppages. Then, an unexpected archaeological find halts progress, requiring careful excavation. Such delays not only push our timeline but also add to the costs. Additional site management, extended equipment rentals, and delayed labor payments contribute to the rising contract price. Let's add another $3 million for these delays. The contract price now stands at $118 million. As we piece together these scenarios, the story of our highway construction project takes shape. From the initial handshake at $100 million to the current standing of $118 million, the journey of the contract price is a testament to the dynamic nature of construction projects. Each adjustment, whether due to variations in work, legislative changes, or unforeseen events, 
reflects the realities of the construction world. They underscore the importance of flexibility, foresight, and continuous negotiation in managing large-scale projects. As we reach the end of our journey through the intricate world of construction contracts, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the path we've traveled together. Here at Growth Mindset Company, our mission is to unravel the complexities of various industries and bring you insights that empower and educate. Your support is the cornerstone of our endeavor. Each like, each subscription, each share helps us to continue providing valuable, educational content like this. It's more than just a click, it's a vote of confidence in the quality of information we strive to deliver. So, if you found this session insightful, if it has shed light on the nuances of contract management and construction, or sparked a curiosity to learn more, we humbly ask for your support. Please, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Growth Mindset Company. Your engagement is not just appreciated, it's essential in helping us grow and continue to bring you content that makes a difference. Together, let's build a community of learners, thinkers, and growth-minded individuals. Stay curious, stay informed, and let's all grow together with Growth Mindset Company. Thank you for your time, your support, and your eagerness to learn. Until next time, keep nurturing that growth mindset.